Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. This is Travel Discoveries. I'm back again. Today's topic is we will discuss about the updates of my K-1 visa journey. Actually guys, yesterday we update already but we have a new updates again. So I never expect of this. So I'm excited to share it to you guys. Shout out to Princess Me. Sita Asideliu, Shani Patel, Gig Ishig, Pudang Diary, Anika Mado Family, Ben Campbell, Maria Milani Orogan, Prabdev Tour, and Luisa Kan Kantat. Thank you so much for watching and also for commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I hope you will stick around until at the end of this video so, so that you will know what is my new update. And also I will share some tips and experience about my K-1 visa journey. Let us further ado. Let's start! Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes hello guys i'm back again yesterday video we talk about the updates for my k1 visa journey i didn't expect this one so i will give you another updates uh, this is the new updates in my k1 visa journey guys about our case because i i never expect guys that today we have a new surprise thanks god because for a long time waiting so our time comes now so thank you so much we are so very happy guys yesterday we were talking about my update on my k1 visa journey i am saying there that still our case is still stuck at the national visa center but this morning guys i never expect that when i check our case to the cec website i was so very surprised because i saw it that my case is in transit thanks god because we are in transit now I am excited only and happy guys that's why I wanted to share it with you also what is my journey so uh, for those who never knows about our case uh, we filed our case on December 23 2020 and December 28 2020 our case was received in the USCIS and March 2021 we receive our NOAA 1 and August 2021 we receive our NOAA 2 and uh, September 2021, our case was created in the National Visa Center. So, and after that, we are waiting, guys. There is no any updates. That's why every month we send an email vote on the U.S. Embassy. And after that, we are waiting and waiting. There is nothing. There is no updates about our case. So, every month we send an email to National Visa Center as well as on the U.S. Embassy to remind them that our case is expired. And also, it's good also because they reply to us and they extend our case into uh, 120 days. And after that, at another extension of 120 days. And right now, uh, we didn't expect that you know our case will be in transit right now guys so that was may 11 2021 so our case is uh, the total waiting for our case guys is one year and five months and until right now still it looks like i am dreaming that i cannot believe that our case will be in transit it means that i will be reunited now to my Beyonce. so that is a good news and for you guys don't you worry maybe you know you are the next one also just be patient and be positive always so i will share you it means that the u.s embassy they are scheduling those cases that who filed 2020 and the, uh, the approval is 2021 because i know what two guys in august 9 2021 means that they are working on those filers uh, 2020 filers and approve know what to approval 2021 okay and so guys i have a tips for you maybe this can give an idea to you guys that the national visa center and the u.s embassy uh, they are scheduling those 
nga applicants that their Manila case number is started into MNL 2021-74 and so on. So if you're if you think that your Manila case number is sooner in 74,000, it means you are sooner now or it means you are next now in the interview schedule. So watch out again guys on June. I'm sure that we have another in transit. Okay? So plus hope. You know your time will come also. As I told you guys, they are working their best to make it faster those backlogs. And Iba interview appointment schedule to every applicant so they are working so fast according there in my case in the CECS is there that your case is in transit in the consular embassy the national visa center will send you an instructions for your interview appointment so I guess I think maybe they will send the PC interview later maybe when our case will be arrived now in the u.s embassy manila so we will wait for that guys so i didn't know when how many days the you know the traveling of our case from national visa center under u.s embassy so let us see but for my fiance he was saying that maybe it's one week so let us see <laughs> yeah guys don't you worry guys because you know, if I will receive now our NBC letter, I will update you again, guys, and I will share it with you. So, once that our case will be received now in the U.S. Embassy in Manila, I will update you again. I wanted only to share with you all, guys, about my update for my K-1 visa case. For those applicants there that you are waiting also for your interview appointment, don't you worry guys. Your time will come also. Just pray that the U.S. Embassy Manila, they will work more faster and they will finish all the backlogs and you will be the next one in line. So again, thank you so much for watching on this video. So much for supporting my channel and watching for my videos and commenting. I really appreciate it. So, I will update you guys if our case will be received now in the U.S. Embassy in Manila. Okay? So, that's it for today. And for those who have any comments, just comment down below in my description box and I will answer as soon as. And guys, for example, if I cannot answer directly, I'm sorry because not always I am online also. But as soon as I read your comments directly, I will answer. Okay? So, for those who never yet subscribe, please do consider to subscribe. Select all and click that bell icon so that if I have a new upload videos, you will be notified as soon as. And also, don't forget to share to your friends, like, comments, and give a thumbs up. So, stay safe and God bless you all. See you in my next vlog. Bye!